Hello folks, welcome back. We're doing our first Elliot Smith lesson. Absolutely love this. Don't know how it's taken so long, but Miss Misery, which is um, awesome. It's in standard tuning. Um, some live performances, I think he's got, you know, he's gone up a, a semitone. So just cap on the first fret if you need to play along with those. Time signature is three, four. So one, two, three, two, two, three. That going on, right? But it's got a bit of a lilt, so we have um, like a triplet feel to the eighth note, so. That going on, right? So we have D minor. C add nine. But you mute the D string. So three, mute, zero, three, zero. Okay, uh, B flat, F, and this is like a G minor nine, but F is still in the bass at this point, then to a G minor. A minor, C, B flat, F for two bars, A7. So, strumming for the first four bars. Don't worry about it being too rigid, right? You're basically going to play one, two, three, up, down, up. Okay. Okay, so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And on the album anyway, that bit there, it's just me moving my first finger off, right? So I can get to, to the, uh, the C, right? So don't worry too much about the strumming. I think live, he actually plays. He just does the full chord. If that's easier, do that. Then when we get to this part. Okay, that's really cool. So you're gonna flatten your first finger there, and then add your little finger to the fifth fret there. you got to move your fingers about a bit. So my third finger goes to the fifth fret. First finger now is covering all the strings on the third fret. Well, above my third finger, right? Because that's part of the G minor. So that again. Slight change in the rhythm, right? Because you're doing four strums. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Same that time, right? Then you go back to the original rhythm pattern. Okay. So, um, from there we have F, A minor, C, B flat again, and then two bars of F. But there we have, and then into the A7. That's the rhythm. Something like that anyway. And then you've got a fill which goes, Pretty straightforward. Like that. Um, and then you're into like another sort of versey, chorusy part. The rest of the band comes in. C 
same chord so far, right? But notice that the rhythm pattern does change ever so slightly. Don't worry about it too much, but this is what he goes for this time. It's this strummy bit. That's the same as before. But then we go one, two, three. Same for the next two bars. So the chords change the same, but the rhythm is different from each bar to the next. Then we've got a slight difference here as well. Okay, so you just go. Take it off on that last beat. That's it. Then it's F to A minor again. B flat to F. This time though, you're gonna go up to G. Subtle difference, because that's the Miss Misery bit, right? So we have G to B flat to F. Now those two entire parts make up what I'm calling section A, because we're going to repeat that whole thing again. But we then go to this part, section B. It's only played once, and the rhythm's the same as before, right? So we're just going to do... that okay so we have G sharp for two bars C minor F then we go C sharp major seven so we've got cool chord isn't it back to the uh, G sharp C and then you go back around. But it's a piano part, I think, so you can just outline the chords though. All that stuff, right? Go around the whole two sections again, and then you come out of it this time into this part, which is like another just little variance part. It's only played once, but it goes to D major this time, right? So we have... Mess up that last bit. That's the trickiest bit of the whole thing, I think. So it goes to this C sharp diminished chord. Tricky one, right? But anyway, we have a similar strumming pattern to before. So that's the first part. D for two bars. But these are staccato, the last two which you could play here. Could do it there, but I like the open D. Or you could do... Could do the... You know, that C add nine again. Entirely up to you, lots of options. Down to the B flat. F for two bars, G for two bars, B flat for two bars, and then C. That is tricky. So I'll just, you know, work on that. So to change between it, you've got your second finger going on there, and then you're flattening your first finger and moving these two fingers to, you know, the fifth fret there, right? You know, 
I think it's easier to go from that chord. Okay. Um, and then you go back to section A. Again, no, it's just piano. All right. Um, in the end of section A, though, there is a slight variance. So when you come to do the G part... You do that. It's just basically replacing the last four bars of section A with that, okay? So it's just G to B flat, F to C. Okay, and then same for the outro. So you're just gonna change it up ever so slightly. So when you go to the F to A minor part, you're gonna play. That's it, you're done. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.